In this video, I'm going to show you how to install um, a motherboard and two gyroscopes into a board uh, that has already had them removed. Um, this particular board had uh, not been balancing previously, so what we're going to do is we're just going to install the two gyroscopes uh, with the motherboard. We might need some new LED lights, but what I've done is um, these are actually, these have wider clips on them. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but they've got kind of a wider style right there. So we're using uh, a wider style uh, motherboard that is called Tau Tau. And uh, we do sell these on our website uh, in our repair section at www.streetsaw.com. And um, you can see that this brand is, uh, logo looks like this. So it's uh, called Tau Tau. So let's get started. Um, what you're gonna need is pretty simple. I always use a, one of these pairs of needle nose pliers. Um, I prefer it to be curved like this. It's just so I can uh, take clips apart and things like that. I don't think that I'll actually need it any further because I've already taken everything apart, but it's good to have. Um, uh, we're gonna need two gyroscopes and the motherboard that match each other. So they all have the, the little Tau Tau logo on them and they're all of the same generation and version. So that's important to have. Most importantly, we're gonna need our original screws right here that we took out. And we're gonna need um, a screwdriver. Uh, I use a DeWalt 20 volt. You guys, if you want, all you really need is this. Um, so you don't need any special tools aside from a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I like to do is I like to install the gyroscopes first because they are the easiest. Um, you always want to style, uh, install it so the little dongle wires here are facing inward. It doesn't matter if you put uh, one on the left or one on the right. Just make sure that these are facing inward like that. And once you've done that, uh, you want to take at least a couple screws here. You should put all four of them in and some people don't and just secure it down. No, these are very small screws. Just don't forget, these are the very small ones. Uh, they've got kind of a coarse thread pitch to them. Okay, we got that side secured. Line them up with the holes. Just like that. Okay, now we've got our gyroscopes uh, down enough, because I'm trying to keep this video short, I should put all four screws in there. Um, and now you have a battery side and you have a motherboard side. And by the way, I do have the original battery that was in there. Uh, the battery side is gonna have this kind of bridge right here, which helps keep the battery in. And the motherboard side is gonna have these little risers inside of it. So that'll help you determine which side is which. You take your motherboard, uh, set it in here to know that it fits the proper way. And what you want to do is actually take these longer cords and um, put them through the middle of the hoverboard. I like to start with the battery cord, which is the one with this yellow piece. Put it through there. Go with the other ones. And then kind of get them all started, but don't push them all through at the same time or don't push them all through at different times because it makes it more difficult because you have more stuff in the way. I always get them started and then push them through all at the same time. And you can see them coming through on this side. For some people, this is actually the most difficult part, so uh, don't be discouraged if it takes you a while. I know when I began fixing hoverboards, it took me sometimes 10 minutes or so to actually just wire everything through. Uh, when you're done with that, geez, in the cut in the video, uh, we just got interrupted by a telephone call from somebody. Um, so let's continue. Uh, we set the motherboard in place and then we have these uh, fine thread pitch screws right here that we're gonna use to mount the four corners here. 
Um, we're actually just gonna put two in for the sake of time and they screw in right on the corner. Right there. Put that one there as well. And uh, now we put the battery in. You wanna put the battery so it faces this direction with the cord that way. Uh, we're gonna grab a battery cage. This is the battery cage that you should already have on your hoverboard. Um, and that goes around the battery itself. So move this wire here to the side, move these to the side, and then set your battery in like that. Okay. So we have a screw right here. And we're going to need a couple more screws. So you guys should already have screws in your board if you're watching this. I'm just getting some spare ones here so we can put this together. So I've got four fine pitch screws here. And again, I'm going to use my power drill. Drill this battery cage in. I don't like to tighten it all the way because sometimes this black uh, plastic will break. But I'll just go slowly until it's down. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, so now we have the battery in place. We have the motherboard in place. The gyroscopes are in place. Everything's kind of wired the correct way right now. Um, and what we're gonna do is the last thing we're gonna do is hook the battery up. So uh, we want to take this. This here goes to the LED light underneath that um, is either the battery indicator, uh, which I believe so because it's on the battery side, uh, or it is the actual foot pad indicator, which should be on this other side. And we're gonna plug this into our new gyroscope right here. So it goes right there. And if yours doesn't clip in like that, you should take a look at the clip size on the end and make sure that it actually matches up. Um, like I said earlier in this video, there is a wide clip style and there is a narrow clip style. Uh, and on our website, uh, www.streetsaw.com, we tell you the difference between the wide clips and the narrow clips uh, when you're ordering parts. So then... This black one here is fairly universal. Um, if you choose to, you can actually put it under the battery cage to save some space right here. We just kind of tug it through. This uh, larger one here goes to your motor. Clips light it right in like that. And again, just kind of pull it so it keeps it right here. If you rest all of your, um, your clips and whatnot up here, your shell won't go on, so that's a common problem. Uh, these color to colors, so we go blue to blue, green to green, and yellow to yellow. Just like that. Still moving freely. Okay. Move that to the side. And then you're going to put all your clips back together on this side as well. Kind of the same thing. Let's see, why is this? Uh, clip that together. Draw away. Push that together, and then we're going to go back and match the colors again with the motor cables. Green to green, blue to blue, and yellow to yellow. 
push it in there nice and hard, but don't, try not to snap anything. Okay. And I always pile up my cables in the middle here, keep them away from the outside because you're going to be drilling the shell in out here, and that's what causes uh, people to drill through their wires and cause shorts and things to not work. So this is the light indicator, like I mentioned earlier, and we're just going to plug that directly into our gyroscope there. And then uh, once we're done with everything else, uh, it's time to put the battery uh, together and plug that in. And so once that's ready, we take this, plug it in. And generally, you'll hear a little pop sound, and that just kind of means that everything's working. And tuck that. Tuck that down there so it doesn't get in the way of anything. Now we're going to get our shell tops. Um, the shell top that has the power button and the charger cable always goes on the motherboard side. And the shell top that doesn't have anything always goes on the battery side. Um, so we have one LED light that we need to connect over here and you can actually go in either of these. Uh, your, your gyroscope might only have two. This is a more advanced uh, newer generation one by Tao Tao. Uh, it's UL listed, it's certified safe. Just set that on there. bouncing around alright so we got the battery side shell on and now when it comes to the other side This guy's LED light had fallen out, so we'll just set that back in there. So you hear a clip in. And in there. So he's got this LED wire just like on the other side. You can clip that into either. Now this uh, one with the four holes goes into your power section and um, it should clip right in there. on there nice and tight and then this small one here is your power button and that'll go right in this little area where there's kind of a small socket just like that If you want to keep everything more secure, you can always hot glue it, um, which I'll do afterwards here, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to put this back on, start it, and show you guys. Okay, 
flip it over. And the moment of truth is when you push the power button. And it looks like it's working. Seems to be working just fine. Now if you guys can see, we got a spinning tire here. We got a spinning tire here. And uh, this thing's gonna balance for us. So that is how you replace the motherboard and the gyroscopes uh, on a classic style hoverboard here. Um, thank you for watching and if you need these parts, you can get them at uh, our website, uh, which I hope that you're watching on, which is www.streetsaw.com.